My name is John Chitty, I am the 2017-18 BSA BA President and I have the great pleasure of introducing our 2018 Congress, our 61st Congress, uh, which starts tomorrow. We don't always theme Congress, um, but this year the theme has just come through. And something I've been trying to bring through is a more holistic offering, a more holistic view of the value profession. We all know it's like being in practice, and it's very weird that you start your career and you want to know how to do things. And so you're usually around about 35, 40, you suddenly realise that actually you've done a lot of that, you're actually roughly familiar with how you're doing things, but now is why do you do it? Why are you doing that? And why do you practice? And how, how do you actually practice? How do you be a vet? We've also been really lucky this year in that we've been able to change the exhibition times and change it around there, which has given us much more opening to create beyond the clinics on the Sunday. And this is going to be, it's going to have a, um, not quite careers fair, but more, we call it mapping the future, where people can look at where a vetting profession can lead them. It doesn't have to be like one job's better than another, but it can be a different wing of the profession is better than another for that person. So looking at mapping the future, we're looking at all kinds of things there. So from individual financial management, I really wish I'd had that when I started. You know, what, what does a pension mean? What does that mean? Basic stuff that keeps you happy. Um, looking at obviously about things like well-being. Um, we've got Mind Matters running through the conference again. Um, we've been nice working at RCBS on that. We're continuing doing that. We have some more no blame stuff coming through. But even simple things like we have a, we have a physiotherapy session running. Not going to have a back massage, but teaching how to look after your back and how to look after yourself physically in practice. I can tell you that having a bad back is probably the quickest way to feel grumpy all day long. We see a lot of this stuff as being not just discipline specific, but actually applicable to the whole profession and trying to open it up more about looking after ourselves, about enjoying our careers more. I've been lucky, I've enjoyed my career, I like being a vet, but I want to try and bring something more to get other people feeling the same way. We've got movie night on Thursday night. Um, and um, that's a new thing because we, had, we didn't have a social spot there. Um, we hope everybody's enjoy that. We've been having online voting for that too. We actually had online voting for V18. Um, we've been on Tuesday welcoming cocktail for V18 party night and that's looking really great evening. There's um, you know, a whole set of bands up there. Um, the food looks good, a really good comedy line up there too. So you know, if you're loose in on Saturday, you know, book a place. Um, it's a good party, there's a big crowd there and it goes on about two in the morning. Well, there's older people make it hit the bed slightly earlier. It's going to be a slightly different feel to um, Harrod, our new head of Congress, obviously brings um, new things to the fold. The committee is always very, very up for, 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 new, for new initiatives. Um, um, yeah, we, we come and see it. The, the SABA evolves and changes through the years. Um, I've been going to Burnham since 1991, and it is not the same Congress I first went to. Keynote speaker is Nigel Owens. Absolutely over the moon about Nigel Owens doing this today. I've been a rugby fan for a long time, um, and obviously some of the problems and difficulties Nigel's faced um, have been very similar to some of those problems a lot of people in the profession have faced. So that's going to be really relevant. And also, one of the things I'm really hoping he's going to talk about is decision making. Um, we often have high pressure decisions to make, often have to make very quickly and decisively. Um, and he's in certainly some position there, he, he's on the rugby pitch, you know, is He's going to make at least 15 very large gentlemen very angry at any moment, um, and probably a, lot, a large section of the crowd as well. But he has to make a clear decision um, on the spot and back it and trust it. And you look at the replays and things, um, he's almost invariably correct. And that's been for me a great thing to learn about how he does that and what he do, does with it too. So Nigel is really looking like, I'm really looking forward to hearing him. I, I would actually pay to hear him hit speak anyway. I'm just lucky I don't have to. Um, so I, I get as part of it as a real bonus. Looking forward a lot to going around the exhibition. That's actually what I've always spent a lot of time doing um, when I'm a delegate. So actually doing that officially and formally, I think I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that. I'm going to try and get some of Beyond the Clinics on Sunday because that's the one. So as you may tell, I'm actually really excited about, about seeing it and, and, and getting getting up there and seeing what's happening. 
Um, but otherwise, you just look at our program, it, it's immense. Um, there, there's something for everybody there too. I think my tip to people is try and go to something you haven't expected to go to. Um, and that might be um, something um, outside direct professional interest, so you might go to one of our Hot Topic sessions. I mean, animal licensing doesn't sound very exciting, it's highly relevant, and it's, it's quite a lot of debate around it. We've got a big bracky setup session, so you can get up to speed with what current debating points around that. We've got a very good set of speakers from all sides of that debate to really put those arguments up and let people make up their own minds about what's happening. But also in the clinical streams, some of the best things I've gone to, I mean, a few years ago, I, I, called him to chair um, the ophthalmology um, session now I'm no ophthalmologist I had a great time I loved it and there were basic ophthalmology lectures I came back I put those into practice I probably got more out of those lectures than anything else I went to so you know go to something slightly outside your normal sphere and also don't forget that we've got the mp4 recordings going on all the time so if there's something you miss you can catch up on it afterwards as well not quite the same as being there but it's not a bad alternative and with the number of streams we've got running i think it's 11 or 12 running you know you sort of have to do that mm -hmm.